Hello everyone, welcome to BSP Solutions. My name is Shubham Temre. So in today's session, we are going to look at support user in Oracle Fusion warehouse management system. Okay. So first of all, so why we are creating support user in our Oracle warehouse management system? In few instances, you may need to transfer files securely or we have to view log files in the Oracle warehouse management system cloud. So warehouse management system support team is assisting you with the existing issues. Okay. To initiate this process, you will need to create a support user in our warehouse management system. So once a customer creates a support user, the support team will have access to log files and other tools required to analyze the customer database. Okay. Now let's go to our instance and create a support user in warehouse management system cloud. So first we have to log in with our Frank Egan. Okay. So here you can search user. So as we already see in our earlier session, in how to create users okay now just click on the users yeah and just click on the create icon we are creating a user so with the help of that particular user then we create the support user so let's say username that is wms underscore ampl 001 first name wms last name I am PL. Okay. Now we have to fill the password details. Okay. Let's say password. Okay. Here password life in days. Okay. So let's say 30 days. Okay. You can set your password life in days or here. Okay. Let's say 30 or 60 in accordance to your use. You can specify your password life in days okay now specify the particular id id for your user so let's say id that is wms 2010 okay now here is the type here our user is internal user or we can say the external user so let's say our user is the internal user okay and now he specify the higher date let's say first of april yeah we have the facility code let's select the facility code as 510 let's select the company as tata motors role that is administrator okay and the language let's say english okay select your language okay and just click on the save Now login is user that is WMS underscore IMPL user one password. Okay. okay, search with the user. Let's search for user users. Okay, so here is our new user that is WMS IMPL. Here is our facilities facilities that is our distribution center and the companies so as we select our facilities 510 and the company that is tata motors okay now here you can search your user let's set up wms underscore impl just click on the search okay yeah so here are all the details for our particular user just click on the edit yeah all the details okay click on cancel Okay. Now for creating the support user, first we have to select the row, our user row and just search. Yeah. yeah, here is the create support user. So just click on the icon, create support user. Okay. Now fill all the details for particular support user. Okay. Let's say support user name that is WMS. I'm PL. Support okay and the first name that is warehouse 001 the last name that is support 001 okay so here is the default value for account life in days that is 10 and the maximum value 
for account live days is 28 okay so if we exceed from maximum limit then it shows some error account live in days cannot be more than 28 okay okay so we have to we have to must remember that the account life is just in between the 1 to 28 okay so again fill your details like support user detail that is wms underscore l support one first name warehouse seven and the last time i am pl support 001 okay so let's say account life in days that is 10 okay just click on the submit now our support user is created in the application so here is our support user right now is inactive okay so for active our support user oracle support engineer will receive an email with instruction okay so and a link for them for active that particular support user account and a second email with the password for that particular support user and the password receive on that particular email ids okay okay here is the email id so in that particular email id you can receive your support user password after resolving your problem with the support user you can go back and delete the associate support user okay if you do not delete your support user the system will automatically disable the support users okay once the account life in days is reached your account is your support user account is automatically disabled so this is all about support user creation in oracle warehouse management system okay so thank you for watching the video thank you so much